so now I'm gonna try to test the face detection autofocus I'm gonna use a, a cutout from a newspaper first just because I want to be able to see if it's actually working or not and then I'll use it on my own face um, just because I don't have a, an external monitor and so there's no way for me to see if it's working or not so I'm gonna try this first so before it's be, because it's not um, like close to the plane of focus it doesn't seem to be detecting the face so I have to get close to the plane of focus of the lens it doesn't seem to be working at all it's, it's in auto mode I'm gonna switch it to manual I'm gonna get it close to the picture Now I'm gonna switch it to auto and there it should be detecting the face if you can see the feed from the other camera it's able to track it is it able to focus on it that is the question so it's focusing there if I get it more a bit closer it's focusing I think that might be the minimum no it's not the minimum so it's tracking well and uh, whenever it's not in focus it doesn't detect the face you can follow it across the frame which is good it's not very fast and when it's not in focus it will get in focus and then it detects the face when it's in focus i've seen panasonic cameras that track your face even when it's not in focus and uh, actually those cameras some well the gd5 for example it will track your face and it will not focus so it it knows where your face is but it refuses to focus this is not the case for this and it seems to be pretty smooth also when it does detect the face but when it finds a, a subject that has more contrast than it for example there it found the lens and it's focusing on the lens if i put the face whoops if i put the face and it sees it then it'll try to focus on it and it finally does and this works well this is using the sigma 30 millimeter f1.4 so i'm assuming that the the sony lens would work a bit better and um, other sony lenses might work even better still like a, a sony lens that creates a lot of separation and has a shallow depth of field this camera seems to do better when there's a lot of contrast between the background and the, and the subject but here it seems to work really well so now I'm gonna try it on my own face and see if it if it's able to focus right so let's see if it works let me clear this ND filter so it's detecting my face does it track it so it's slow to track it but it does get there eventually I mean, it does get there. I guess for I was seeing online that uh, people that reviewed or talked about the the focusing of this camera said that it might be good enough for something like interviews where the subject doesn't really move too much, so the camera is able to catch up if you know the subject moves a bit back and forth or you know small movements. Even with big movements, it gets there eventually. It's a bit slow, but I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. I want to see what happens if I put if I put something in front of of the lens. If it'll if the regular area AF will take over. So 
looks like it doesn't um, it might be trying to yeah so it's really slow it might be even slower than my, my a7r mark one with this same lens uh, and that is also a contrast detect af system so it just needs to find that contrast So I think it might it might have the same problems if I stop down the lens, but as long as there's separation between like the subject and the background and everything else, then it shouldn't be a problem for the for the lens to focus on the face, even changing to objects. So I mean, th this could be a, a decent camera for uh, this talking head reviewing items type of video. Um, I would say it's even better than my G85. My G85 is just, it's garbage when it comes to focus transition. It's good for autofocusing, as in it'll catch, it, it, it finds the target and it gets there, but it always has to do that confirmation where it goes back front and then it gets on, on top of the, of the target. And that's a bit distracting when you're doing this type of video, like if I show this, here it seems to do a smooth transition when it does catch it to the lens and it stops. If I was doing this with my G85, it goes, it gets to the target and then it goes back in the front and then it, it's just, it uses it, it, it's kind of confirming focus and that's the way the contrast detect usually does it. I find that the old Sony cameras actually do a pretty good job at uh, finding the target without doing that motion except when it's bad light. I have used the NEX F3 and it was pretty good at doing that uh, focus transition but when I was in bad light it did do that focus confirmation with it when it, uh, it goes back and front and then it sticks to the target. Or whenever it's trying to focus on something and you force the focus by half pressing the shutter then it, it, it'll do that and that even with a camera with um, with good autofocus if it's trying to find a target and you press the shutter and it'll force it to act faster so it, it will use that focusing so it seems to do fairly okay the only thing I don't like about this lens and these cameras with the uh, contrast detect AF is that it doesn't really catch, depending on how close I am to the lens, it doesn't really catch my eyes. So for example my eyes will not be in focus and my nose will. So that's how thin the depth of field is for the lens, but then that's a matter of just changing the aperture so that it, uh, the depth of field covers the entire face. Anyway. That's just to show that the FS700 is actually pretty decent for face detection and uh, somewhat okay for overall focusing. So that's it.